Hello folks and welcome back to Survival Challenge here on No Man's Land. And here we are in March, we are almost at 12 million pounds. In last episode we hit 10 million and then some. So today we've got some work to do. So in the last episode we planted cotton in our fields over here. We've got more roll, got more fertilized. So if you have a look here fertilized yeah it's all fully fertilized now we need to put sugar cane in this field and sugar beet in this field we also want to get the vineyard in but I doubt we're going to be able to do that in this episode I think that's going to be coming next episode but first of all yeah so looked at on the mod up and I found this this is the Lizard PCP 6000 automated and yep standard it's a three and a half meter header which for normal people is okay is reasonable for us however not so much so thankfully this has been given a little additional feature of a bit of extra planting width so I'm not sure how this is going to work just unfold it. It's like a little back wing that is. And in theory. Alright, so. Green has 11 meters. Uh, not sure on that, but still. Get cracking on, anyways. And there we go, we are planting our sugar cane. Yep, is it the most realistic? Probably not, but this whole series has has turned into the lack of realism here, so yeah, overall I am not too worried on that, so that's one thing I'm gonna do is turn off the interactive markers. And I think already that's our thumbnail for the episode there. Obviously in last episode we tried to mulch the fields. Obviously forgot about we've already cultivated it, so yeah, I didn't go down too well and remember we're doing this at eleven meters. Like the bit for this is incredible, but the sea consumption is gonna be a problem for us. I mean a huge problem for us so we're going to need to figure out a solution so if we go into our equipment go into orgle wagons and really it's got to be something like the seed runner and that that's going to be making multiple trips and um, bumper pull I think that's going to be the best option for us, so... Actually, we we'll test that now we can, so... We'll leave you on there. So grab this. Yeah, because we need to fill that up with seed, because that is consuming a lot of seed. And I mean, more seed than I ideally like to spend, so... Actually, looking at our big bags, I don't have the mod enabled, I don't think. Oh no, I do. Because, yep, this is going to be vital for us. So, instantly dropping 64k on that. Because we're going to need that to add more. So, because, yeah, I think we're going to have issues with keeping up and. I'm just hope, yeah, I'm just hopefully we're able to get all this done. Because otherwise it's going to be multiple trips back and forth to manually with the cedar. And one thing I'd rather do is just let the work on it. And every so often we have to run back and forth with this. And you know what? That is fine by me. Actually, I should have looked at other options first of all. Get the Jan tankers, that's a bigger capacity. But 
Yeah, one is a swivel axle, which I do not like. And fair enough, it's good. I should come with something like that. Okay, we'll hold C's and all that other good stuff. So yeah. Let me fill this up for a sec, and then we'll go to the sugarcane planter. So, right, we are, I think, ready. So, Poly Pal, where's the worker to? It's coming back down. Fair enough. So, yeah, that's Pipe In. Poly Pal is one, Poly Pal two. So obviously this has got different compartments, which, yeah, makes sense. But yeah, how well can we do this? Ah, I think we're going to have issues here, so... First of all, we'll adjust the cruise control to 7 miles an hour. But are we going to, like, hit it? Yeah. Next, we go forwards. Super janky. I mean, let's look at that. Ah, it shouldn't be. Yeah, it shouldn't be doing this like this, but. Oh, here we are. We are doing it like this. And I think I got the thumbnail for the episode here. Oh, that is just crazy. That's, that's the problem, it's such a tall thing that really you should have gone with something a bit shorter, maybe. And could have gone away with that. But yeah, anyway, anyways, let's go and get this done and start doing the time lapse. Start with this, and then we'll move on to yeah, the seeding of the sugar beans. So that was very painful to do the sugar beet harvest, the sugar beet planting, and I'm still doing it. But at the moment, the workers managing fine. 
We've also hired a second worker to do this bit over here. That's because it is going to take a while for us to get this done. Because if we have a look here under the PDA, so sugar beets. Once that worker's done, we'll do that bit, that bit, and then get the worker doing this bit. The sugar cane barely made, not even halfway, more like a third than that. And I thought, ooh, we need to fill this up constantly. So, I've got at least this, the TLX Phoenix, but I'm having so, like, you can see, I'm having so many issues with, it just like digs into the ground. If I detach, there's no problems. Suspension seems fine, but then there's like a weird clipping that just bogs down like shines. Like barely moving, barely getting anywhere. Now, at the moment we've got a hundred thousand years of sugar cane to go in. But yeah, it's just like bogging down, like do something, move, but so I mean I'm on full throttle here. Like, what the frick is going on here? Like, why is this being so difficult for us? Once this is emptied, I'll get rid of it and return it because this is a pain in the ass. And actually, what's wrong? Yeah, I think we'll just use this instead of going forward. It makes the most sense, it does. Like, okay, issue is the. It, clips with the cab. Now, because obviously we've got all of our tractors busy at the moment, we do have the other John Deere, the big one, but we just use that for this. Uh, it's not really something I want to do, so I've just got on the set of 7200, so just a little something to help us out here, and yeah, this ain't going to be long-term or anything, because yeah, yeah, it's not needed long term, it's just a short term thing. If anything, what we can do is use this to fill up both of these cedars and use the big one to fill this up. That's the only way about it, I think, personally, because we get way around it, so there we go. Arrow shot. And there we go. Just make sure we don't clip as we are at the moment. There we go. Obviously we've run out, we can tell we've run out of fertilizer, but in fairness, I'm not too worried about that. I like that, I like the modern case and an old case. That looks really nice, that does. So yeah, what? That's filled up for the time being, I think. Pudge there, I think. Also, yeah, that I'm just going to leave on its way. Uh, yeah, I wish we could use the big one. You know, it's more of a pain, more of a finagle around. It does work, and works quite well. Obviously, if I'm thinking the dispersal rates on this can't be really quite match up to what is put down. I think it is. Thing. It's hard to say, really, but this, yeah, no rumors for this whatsoever. Like, if you just go in there like that, I don't have to go in too much, that'd be perfect. Ah, wait a minute. That's why it was in the wrong bin. I was like, why wasn't it going in? Oh yeah, because I forgot 
you got to adjust the pipe out on this. But yeah, so then we'll get this filled up a sec, and then we'll go over and do the other should be planter for that up. There we go, that is empty. So yeah, it does work just about, but yeah, I'll need to do like, some proper research, see if there's any more, a higher auger than that. If I was to guess, maybe the Demco ones? You know, something like these. Maybe. But then again, we'll have the issue with maneuverability and that, and this tractor won't be able to pull that either, so... Yeah, you got that as well. Just go forward, it's like so painful. This is well, I'm just put output then. Why ain't you output it? Ah, because it's sugar cane, maybe. Doesn't that accept sugar cane? Ah, no, it does not. So Bummer, so we're going to have to use this, so rather than you not watch me suffer for this, to drive over to fill this up, I was going to do a little jump cut here. Actually, that wasn't too bad, and I was saying that, as soon as I start recording, it bogs down. But why is the worker reversing? And what have you missed? What are you doing? Oh, God, just... I can't get a break with all this, like, seriously. I know, okay, in fairness, the lumpy and bumpies. Don't drive all the way back. No, don't do that. No. Why would you do that? Why? Oh, these... I swear these workers are going to be the death of me. Any tree stumps whatsoever. No. Just a bit of a lumpy bumpy terrain. Hopefully with me correcting that it helps it going forward, it's like it's gotta do something. But yeah, how look at other augers now like and even like the Denko one can't do sugar cane. Cause yeah, because obviously this these will take either seeds or sugar cane. I thought buy sugar cane directly from the store now. Because it makes sense and it's cheaper. And you'll just screw it all. Really? I'm just tempted just to do all of it myself in that. I just go the back and forth because the pain all this is causing is it worth it? Not pretty pretty much. But yeah, let's go and get the rest of this done. And then we'll start doing the spring, I think, because Yeah, well I need to do something here, just watch these workers. I had to struggle with that. Oh, it's gonna be the death of me. It's frustrating it is, it's an absolute huge pain, like, just work.
there we go, we are done, so let's turn our markers back off. So yeah, we are done with the sugarcane planting, we have some leftover sugarcane. So what I've got done is whack it in here, so we're going to be using this production, so... Actually, where is the trigger for it? Is it over here, I think? There we go. So yeah, 24,000 years a month of sugar we'll get, so... Yeah, that will consume within the course of a month. And yeah, we do have a little bit of shrinking left. But there's no way to unload it, unfortunately, so... Oh well. But anyways, we can return... All of these. And including that. Go. It's got it hooked up and moved over. He's also done with the sugar beet planting. And yeah, that didn't take us long. Oh, actually, no, not. Got a little bit here to do. So any strips we've missed? Wait a minute, what's that little strip there? Poplar? Oh, I must have actually missed. Oh well, that we can get rectified. Out. Or to see if that's not a huge issue for us. But yeah, just looking on the PDA. Maybe a little chunk down there, but apart from that, that is us all done. So yeah, we get us a bit here done. And then we need to. Are we getting weeds from this? He's rolling, and that. So actually, I'm gonna try something from. Preventive weed spray because we're not doing precision farming or anything. And yeah, I've heard people about it on other other people's let's place like Dagwin's let's place series on here and apparently you're supposed to actually put the weed application down before you let it grow, so fair enough, we'll we'll try that. What roll there ready, but Actually, we can. I'm gonna try something, something a bit different, self-propelled one. So, a hardy spray pack. Is there a difference? Ah, yeah, thirty-five thousand a year. So, thank you very much. That's I will take. So. Design colour, what's that? Ah, it's the suspension arm, so those could be a nice jet black. The main body, let's go with a good old nitro blue, and then nitro blue wheel, so yeah, a bit expensive to lease out. Well, I think it's something worth having. I think actually, looking at that, it's definitely something we can get ourselves behind, and because we spent so much money on the curbside, no, on seeding that from there, like, I mean, like, the prices were absolutely stupid for paying like 40 grand or so, what it was. For yeah, about 45 grand for what was it 20,000 a year? So it was like absolutely stupid. Nah, actually, compared to what we'll get from the other ones, it's actually that much more expensive. So I think like, we're making the right choice here. But yes, yeah, unfold the mustache. Mustache here. Yeah, this is huge. And apparently this works, so if it does, then... Oh boy. That is big, so... Fine, let's try it. Actually, I can't tell the difference in ground textures or anything like that. 
is actually making a difference. So you go to here, and then keep on going to the point. Ah, so it does make a difference. But can we hire a worker on this? Alright, fair enough. Yes, we can. That is good. Good to see on that part, at least. So, yeah, I think we can start rolling in that as well. It's actually, yeah, that is a very good indeed. So, yeah, prevent spraying does work. But only if you're not using precision farming. Yeah, fair enough, that makes sense, I guess, but... Man, I wish I'd done this ages ago. Oops. Yeah, the problem's gonna be keeping on that right side, keep an eye on it. Making sure we don't hit anything, but yeah, if we could do this, not get the weeds growing. There we go, Bob's your uncle. Yeah, I was going to leave to work on that. Hopefully it doesn't hit the edge. And all I can do is... Go and start rolling. Yeah, since we started here, if we follow it around... Cause yeah, that's like a 40 meter lever boom. And this is only a 22 meter roller, so... Apparently we should be fine. He may miss a little bit here and there, I'll start, start off with, but... Yeah, I can barely tell the difference in textures here. Uh, you can probably see, compared to the left to the right, it's darker on the left. But yeah, that's the thing as well, sometimes when you're rolled in, it is hard to tell where have you been and where you haven't been. Yeah, so far the worker's done his first pass now. So yeah, I think what I'll do next is get us going on straight bit. Get a worker on it, and then I think to round off the episode, sell some more products. So yeah, I thought we was going to hit that 12 million pound mark by now, but obviously we have to spend a lot of money on that seeds for the sugar cane fields. As long as we can get our money back, I I'm not worried, but, yeah. Oh, I am worried, so... There we go. I think what I'll do quickly as well is, before I start down on the down path... Sorry, I'm down path now. Yeah, I know I'm going to be overlapping to a degree, like, yeah. But you know what? I don't mind. Can you tell the difference of whether we sprayed and haven't? No, not really. And actually, I heard we're going to collide here. I sure want to see this, because do we collide? But in theory, this should speed up our spraying by a huge percentage if we go down this route. And what happens here? Yeah, temporary stops, but besides from that, it's good. And yeah, we're going over by at least half of this, so... You know what? I was going to leave to work on that. And next episodes we'll get that all finished off and all that. So I think we've got some yep, we've got cut some pancakes over here. And we've got some donuts. We will going to be spawning soon. Scene 2. 
But yeah, a lot of that we'll deal with in the next episode. So yeah, the next episode our plan's going to be to finally start planting the vineyards. And that is going to be inexpensive. Like, you know, the equipment now, because I'm looking at buying everything up front. Including the harvester now. So point cheaping out, so we're gonna need a new small tractor now. And yeah, it's gonna be close to I guess including the vines themselves, about a million maybe or two. At least at least a million, a million to a million and a half, so yeah, if we look at great technology. Yeah, we're looking at a quarter of a mil for the harvester itself. Obviously there is a mod 1 which I will look at. Because yeah, I have forgot to enable... Yeah, the great... Uh, what's it? Mods... Oh, sorry, there. Yeah, the great uh, vineyard pack, whatever it is. That recently had an update as well, so... Because yeah, we need two of these... To prune. And then, yeah, we need a small tractor, so... Maybe looking at, like, the Landinis and that. Maybe even going with something like that, methane powers, because we've got the methane, so... Makes sense. Oh, yeah, we can use, like, some of these from the Antero Caro pack. Uh, so, I think I used these on... what was it? Oh, uh, Adol Chauvin. Yeah, something like these would do us very nicely. The Mac 4. Wait, no wait. Yeah, I still get a free point linkage, so. I'll have to go with the tracked or the half tracked version. Bull bars and that. So, yeah, we've got a few options there, but yeah, that alone, the equipment alone is going to be about half a mil. And I'll say at least half a million as well for the vines, because they are pretty expensive. So, if you go to productions, orchards, I am tempted to go with these, but... Cause yeah, I think... Actually, let's have a little quick look here in the comparison. Like, how much would one vine cost, you know, compared to the other? So... Now, we're not doing it over here. We're doing it... Somewhere vaguely over here. Obviously, we've got the production as well to put in. So yeah, I've got to remember that as well. Collides with another item, but yeah, so... You know, something like this... One strip, give or take, is gonna be... how much? Oh, okay. Probably not that much, so yeah, we're looking at around... 33 grand. So that's 33 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Bear with me a sec whilst I quickly figure this out. Doing, again, this is very vague, just up to here. So this section, this plot here, that is about 60, 65 rows. Because, yeah, I'll say. Yeah, that is about a gap in a row. So 65 times by 33,000. That's how much we're looking at. That is 330 grand. Actually, we're looking at towards 2 million. About, yeah, something stupid like that. And then, yeah, don't get me wrong. We can go with cheap vines. That's why I initially installed it for this Let's Play series. Because I thought... We was going to do vines a lot earlier in the series, but that didn't work out, actually. 
yeah, that did not work out as planned, just with X and Y reasons, but yeah. So yeah overall, we're looking at about two and a half million pounds in a vineyard. Ouch. Good thing we've got a lot of money here, so... Yep, can't sell the pancakes for that here. We have two and a half million quid. And that is the minimum. Must be more, because I want to go huge. And yeah, 33 grand will help us towards that sum. That covers one long strip there, I think. Oh, yes, I didn't know where it's been and hasn't been, so. Actually, find out, so has it been like here? To know what these workers like are at and missing stuff, so. I think the best we can do is we'll just go up here and then we'll drag the little section down there to the right. And then yeah, in the next episode what we'll do is we'll keep an eye on it, because if it means wasting more money, so be it. Because I want to make sure we get everything done. Or do you not want to see weeds popping up? Because that will affect our yield bonus. And actually, does we do we get weeds as well for the sugar cane fields? I wonder. See, so yeah, I mean, no. just go, just go straight, please. Thank you. But yeah, we're got the sugar coming out from that sugar cane, and that would hugely help us with everything. The set to fold. There we go. Yeah, I think the best we can do is go up and down and around in that. But yeah, do we need weeds on or need to spray the sugar cane fields? Do we need weeds on sugar? F <laughs> do we need weeds on sugar cane fields? No, we do not need them. Are we going to get them? Yes. Yeah, so we need to deal with that as well. So. That is going to be a huge expense for us, especially. I think about just buying this outright as well. Makes sense, so yeah. That's where I'm going to leave it today. We're going to spend a lot of money in the next episode with weeding and everything else, so yeah. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for to do, hope you're gonna stay. But for now, it's me farmer and voice stream, and I'll see you all very soon.